this new DJ Jeremy Ray album. It's not good. Okay, so DJ Jeremy Ray released an album yesterday called Everything Wrong. It is 50 songs long, by the way, which is ridiculous, first of all. It's not necessarily a bad thing if, you know, the, the album is good, but like, wow, okay, this is a very, very long album. I spent a total collective about three hours listening to it and analyzing it to the best of my ability. So today I'm going to be going through five of the songs, explaining why I didn't like them, and then explaining why the rest of the album is bad because I didn't take notes for the rest of the album. I just listened to it. Uh, you'll, you'll understand that a bit later, but this is basically why I don't like the album and why I think it is not very good at all. So let's firstly just get into it with the first song, which is titled The Whole Description. This song is a literal explanation of what the album is about. And while I do appreciate that he's informing the listener about the topic of the album, I feel like doing it in an actual rap would have been better and would have been more representative of the theme he wanted to convey on the album because the spoken word track I mean it's not necessarily bad it's just boring and that's exactly what this track is overall it's not a good intro to the album as it does not get the listener excited to listen to it and I, I didn't give this one a rating because it's a spoken word track and not a rap song but it is definitely not the way you want to start an album because it didn't get me excited to listen to it and I'm sure it didn't get many other people excited to listen to it either first actual song is called the everything wrong intro he starts off immediately with the fast flow that he still hasn't mastered or even gained proficiency with with either the flow or the pronunciation and that's a really disappointing commencement because this is the first song of the album and it's supposed to you know hype you up and explain what the album's going to be about and give you a preface of what you're going to be hearing and you know you can't really understand anything he's saying so it's impossible to do that uh, i can still hear every single breath he takes and he takes them very frequently and they are very loud and he, he has not learned to edit the audio to get rid of those enormous breaths which is very unsatisfying and that's basically the whole track that's going on he's definitely more on beat as he promised he would be but it's still not all quite there and periodically he goes in and out of being a good flow the dark piano instrumental is decent but it's very repetitive and therefore quite boring there aren't really many elements that are added to it because of his fast flow throughout the whole song I am unable to discern what the topic of the song is his singing on the chorus is not good and it is very offbeat the second verse is so fast that it's impossible to understand a single word he is saying and overall it's just a very bad way to start the album so I gave the song a 1 out of 10. The next song is called The Hit List to Those Who Disbelieved. It starts off immediately again another very fast flow and the same issues I mentioned for the previous song are still there. He then transitions into a more slow flow that is just unbearably slightly offbeat like it's almost on beat but it's just slightly enough off that you can tell and it's very very unsatisfying. The beat has extremely loud 808s and kicks that overpower his voice at almost all times and I could at least tell that this song was about proving his haters wrong and showing his ability to rap which is kind of ironic because I don't think this song shows his ability to rap I actually think it shows his uh, lack of ability to rap. He stutters over his words, doesn't enunciate well, and raps too fast without proper pronunciation way too often, making this further difficult to understand. And it's just not a good song, so I gave it a 0 out of 10. The next song is called Remember Me, featuring Hubeza. The intro is a newscaster reporting about Juice World's funeral and the events that took place at that time. He then goes on to talk about other rapper news, like Lil Pump announcing sobriety. The chorus is decent, and the singing is actually quite nice, but it sounds like he's having an asthma attack when he tries to rap with emotion, which is really, really unsafe satisfying. Then he just goes right back to that slightly offbeat flow that is very hard to listen to throughout the entire song. And it seems like he's trying to do a fast flow in every song, which would not be good because he's not good at it. And the song is about paying condolences to dead celebrities, but I was unable to tell that while he was rapping, only at the beginning of the song with the newscaster and at the end of the song when he actually said it in a way I could understand. The only redeeming quality about this track is the chorus, so I gave the song a 2 out of 10. The final song I took a notes on is called My Life is a Soap Opera. Once again, starts off with the fast flow again immediately. This time he's doing it while whispering and it sounds very creepy and disturbing not only because I can't understand what he's saying but also because he does not do the flow well at all as we've come to see already. And at this point I was no longer able to understand what was happening in any capacity. It was at this point that I stopped taking notes for the songs. I listened to the rest of the album but it is it is just so bad and there seem to be the same major five themes that define and determine the reasons as to why this album is so intolerable. Number one, he is not 
master the fast flow in any way, shape, or form. Number two, he sounds like he's having an asthma attack when he raps with emotion due to the incredibly loud and frequent breathing. Number three, even his flow when he's not rapping fast isn't all there, and it's just slightly offbeat, making the entire segment of time he's using that flow very unsatisfying. Number four, he uses very boring and dull instrumentals that add basically nothing to the track and actually take away from it due to the lack of substance or value within them. And number five, it sounds like the entire album was recorded in one take as he stutters over his words very frequently as I mentioned earlier. I can hear every breath he takes and sometimes you can hear him sniffling or sniffing or making other bodily noises. <sighs> you Used Me was the only song that I liked. Those were really the major things I wanted to hit on. There are probably more issues, but due to the sole fact that it was impossible for me to understand what he was saying about 95% of the time, I can't analyze any of his bars, wordplay, craft, or authorship. It truly is a shame that this album, which he promised was chock full of emotional songs that would strike an emotional chord with the listener, is covered up by his awful method of making the songs. I hope that over time he'll continue to improve and hopefully his next album will be better. But for now, this DJ Jeremy Ray album is not good.